Hello beautiful internet family, Dan here from danstube.tv and today we're checking out a data recovery tool called Recoverit. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys out there have stumbled across some sort of incident where you've accidentally deleted something from the recycling bin or you've had some corruption happen where the data files have just disappeared into the ether. Now, Recoverit is a tool that can help you recover your corrupt or your deleted files and I'll get into exactly what you can actually use it for. But remember guys, danstube.tv is all about brutally honest tech reviews, so make sure to subscribe and smash the notification bell so you're notified when I actually drop my latest videos. With Recoverit, there are so many different supported files and also supported devices as well. So when it comes to supported files, uh, they can recover documents, photos, videos, audio, message and emails, and also archives as well. So there are so many different options, and I will have a link in the description below to actually check out the website. But if we break down video, for example, they can recover AVIs, MOVs, MP4, M4V, so many different ones. And then in document, you have doc, docx, PDF, when it comes to photo, uh, JPEG, PNG, uh, BMP, <laughs> there's so many different ones out there. WMF, DNG, and then when it comes to archives, they can do zip, audio, they can do M4A, MP3, so many. Like, honestly, check the entire list there. They can pretty much recover anything you can imagine. And then when it comes to supported devices, they can even do it for different supported cameras as well. So you have digital cameras and camcorders. Uh, the recycling bin as well can also be recovered. Flash drives, hard drives, memory cards, and also removable drives as well. So pretty much anything can be recovered, which is amazing. It's honestly remarkable. From the tests I've done so far, I've been really impressed. Uh, for the most part, it did find everything that I wanted it to recover. I'd tested a few things, deleting it, and then trying to recover it. Uh, it also did a really good job of recovering a hard drive that was actually like not working efficiently. So that was really mind-blowing as well. Um, but one thing I did notice that you ha have to actually do the advanced search sometimes, or the advanced recovery, because it doesn't actually pick up everything when you just do a basic search. So the advanced search, or the, the advanced recovery does a really good job at that point and then you'll pretty much find everything that you need. I, I didn't actually have any issues finding the files. The few issues I did have though were to do with the actual efficiency of the software. So the software worked fine, there was no issues with it, but I had issues occasionally with it freezing up and also issues with it just crashing on me, like it would just stop. And I only had that a few times, but you really don't want that at all in any sort of software, especially recovery software because if it fails while it's mid-recovery, then I don't know what's gonna happen. Hopefully it can then recover the recovery at that point, but that's hard to say. So when it actually comes to different kind of scenarios where you might be using the software. Uh, you've got accidental deletion, which is a big one. Uh, you've got formatting as well. When you format a drive, you potentially could lose everything, so then you want to recover it. Um, you've also got down here, safe and easy recovery. So read only recovery. This program will not attempt to fix or write to the device you're about to recover, so it works without any damage to your data. So that kind of answers my question that I was kind of making before about what would happen with the recovery of the recovery. So it doesn't actually write to the device, uh, so it works without damage to the data. That's really great to see. And honestly, like, it's basically what you would expect from a recover software. It recovers data. So there's not really much else to it, and that's why normally I don't really review software on the channel. Um, but this one's actually a really interesting one because it's something that can actually benefit a lot of people. I know I've, like I mentioned before, I had a hard drive that just wasn't working. It was a portable hard drive and I had some issues with it. But using Recoverit, it actually started fixing the petitions for me and the hard drive now actually works, which is phenomenal. So I'm super stoked about that. Um, I also love it how you can make it work on SD cards, uh, removable hard drives, different devices as well, in, including cameras, which is a massive one. Um, and then another thing as well, is you can actually, uh, with the advanced tool, which you have to pay a little bit more for, but you can recover uh, corrupted video files as well. So that was massive because you know how 
video files just corrupt out of nowhere. I've had that so many times, especially me being a tech reviewer. The amount of times I've reviewed a product and then the actual device itself for some reason corrupts the save file. So then I just don't have a file to play around with. So Recover It can actually fix stuff like that, which is really handy. I'm really impressed with it for the most part. Uh, it's fantastic. I'd love to see it a little bit more reliable, but besides that, it's a really good piece of software for recovering corrupted files or partitioned drives or formatted drives or whatever it is that you've done. You've got yourself in a sticky situation and you want to get yourself out. So Recover It can help you with that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to have a fantastic day, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more brutally honest tech reviews and peace out.